Welcome to St. Louis. So we are walking to the Arch National Park right now. Um, it's kind of fun since it's such a tiny little national park. Um, and we are going to check out a couple other things before the game. So we're in St. Louis for the purpose of going to a St. Louis Cardinal baseball game because three of our favorite players are retiring this year. Um, even though I think we found out that several of them are not playing today. Yes, quite sad. But today we also see we're at the Arch National Park and there are way too many Cubs fans here for my liking. But they are playing the Cubs. It's a big rivalry so it should be a good game. Go Cards! We are at, what is it called? Um, the Arch National Park, I think. I don't know if that's the official name, but... Um, you can go up into the arch and look out at the top. We have done that before. We are not doing it on this trip, but it's a neat experience if you would like to give that a try. It is. We've actually never explored the National Park, and I don't know when it became the National Park, but I don't. I think it's been more recent, um, but we haven't explored this area, so that's what we're kind of doing today with the um, time that we have. Yeah. Right here by the Arch National Park, you get to walk along the Mississippi River. So when I went into the Arch, which was probably about 12 years ago, um, I remember it was a pretty cool experience. Uh, the windows were very tiny and there was also a lot of people, so it was kind of hard to um, view out the windows. It was also, like, I'm not afraid of heights, but it was a little unconcerning, no, what is the word? It's a little disconcerting to look out the window and um, just like the way you felt because it's such a small area up there. What she didn't tell you is to get up into the top of the arch they put you in this little capsule with about four other people and so if you're claustrophobic I would say maybe be prepared for that. And I will say when I went up there there was four of us, two of them, one was afraid of heights and one was claustrophobic so it was an interesting experience. So uh, Arch National Park was established in 2018 and it is 91 acres and it's an important part of our history because it helped expand things to the west. Some people think that the Gateway Arch is the shape of a parabola, but it's my understanding that it is the shape of a weighted catenary, which is a function of exponential functions. Okay, so we are walking to City Garden, which is about a 10 minute walk from the start of Gateway National Park. So they have cool sculptures. I don't know exactly what they have, but one thing I know they do have is like this giant zipper in the ground. So I'm excited to see what it is. This courthouse is part of the National Park. This old courthouse. idea if it has any relation to the Dallas Museum of Art sculpture, but it looks kind of similar, same structure, same theme, same color, so it just made me think of that. More, more intricate though. I think they had to have taken stuff out of here or something because this is rather unimpressive and things look like they're dying and this is literally, I don't know if you want to take a peek in there, but it's overgrown grass basically. And I don't 
know how this is a sculpture. It is something. What is it supposed to be? I don't know. I just saw it on the map, honestly, and that's why I said we'd go. Maybe that was my first mistake. No, no. There's a thing there. It's supposed oh. to be weathering steel. Oh. And they have this whole... Tell us about it, Dad. ...square block. Um, it's weathering steel. It's right next to the beautiful city garden, so it really leaves much to be desired. Whole city square block with weathered steel that doesn't do anything. Maybe they didn't finish it. Maybe somebody can tell me about why this is here. Let's go to lunch. Game time! Woo! So excited. They just got a player home, two players home? Oh my goodness, I totally missed that. I was busy high-fiving. That's awesome. We got two players home and we have somebody on first base. Come on, Bader! Bader! Is there anyone Bader than him? if you come to a game maybe you don't pick middle of the summer in the daytime when the sun is shining straight down there is some seats that i see that haven't had shade this whole time so that is definitely where we're sitting if you feel like i get this so much cooler so we don't normally do this at a baseball game but it was so incredibly hot we are standing here watching the game on some tvs for probably an inning or two before we go back out. Well, when the, they were building the new stadium, they gave people the opportunity to buy a brick and so my brother decided that in honor of our dad that he was going to buy a brick and so it's placed in the sidewalk of the stadium or outside the stadium and our dad is where we all got our love for the st louis cardinals every time we were it was on the radio no one was allowed to talk around the house we had to stop and listen to the cardinals every time i go see the redbirds play I look like a red bird when I'm done.